This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Let's go buy a new car for the Amateur Cup. I want to go to Toyota. And this car caught my eye when I was taking a look at the list. The 2012 Toyota Vitz F. Can we get an F in chat, please, for the Vitz F? Not because not, not there's anything wrong with it. It's it just called F. Um, ooh, let's see here. <laughs> very nice, Chris. Thank you. Very cool. Um... Super white. Um, what color do I want it in? I like it in white. Not gonna lie. Super white too, I think is the color. Yep, super white too. That looks really nice. I like the bits. It sounds way too aggressive for what it is. If this was premium, I would have gotten the 1.5 or the turbo. I want one imported so bad to the States. Only a couple more years, but it's the Vitz F. So anyways, Amateur Cup. We have Branch Hatch Indy, Grand Valley East, and Willow Springs. A little bit more flavor with track selection. And um, the car is a bit more underpowered. It's, it's definitely underpowered compared to the Fit. But it has enough. Yeah, not bought. I have a new car, and it's that. Oh, this is an... Wait, really? This this car is a CVT? Interesting. You thought the Clubman Cup was the Amateur Cup? Well, no, there's like two Clubman Cups in this game. Remember, there's the 400pp Clubman Cup and the 500pp Clubman Cup. So here's our Vitz F. I legit had no idea this is an automatic only car. Oh, that is a cute horn. Listen to it. Meet me. Yeah, it had a 500 PV limit, but it's like, huh? Why? Better acronym? Yeah, a lot of games do use PP. Like, games use PP, I use PP. I mean, I kind of have to use PP, otherwise I'd probably die. But yeah, PP's, o PP's overrated. Also, yes, our goddamn Vitz F is running down a Celica one point Satan. I think it's the GTR model, but still. PI, yeah, it's performance index in Forza. Yeah, it's the GTR model. That was a terrible corner, by the way. Hearts of Iron Force PP is political power. PowerPoint. Ooh, they're getting in trouble by Bill Gates. You know, not 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 that um I don't know. <laughs> It's been, what, 20 years since Pokemon's been out? And we honk to victory. Victory honk. Yeah, Forza 1's performance is weird because, like, some cars are, like, the D4, D3, D2. Like, the Solara is probably the, the most powerful of the D-class cars, and it's D4 because it's just so goddamn heavy. Yes, victory honk. Yes, yeah, the GTR model. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, because I don't want, because I don't have fun just going the entire time. What we're gonna do is we can exit the tune shop from here. By the way, just like in GT5, we're gonna buy a five-speed transmission. We have plenty of money, so it doesn't really matter. And we pretty much just break even at this point.
essentially, I look at it as like using the semi-auto feature on a car. I don't know. So we have a Tuscany CCS and a Tenza Sport Primera. Ooh, a Fairlady Z280. Nice. And a 507. That's a nice field of cars. Oh, there's an animation now. Okay. So I wonder if... Uh, it's a Tiburon, uh, Chris. But that CCS one, I think it's like a convertible concept or something. It's one of those weird Korean exclusive Gran Turismo 4 cars. Which is why I want to get the Korean version. Okay, I'm really curious now. Now that there's an animation, is does the gearbox get replaced? That's what I legit wonder. Threading the needle around the 507 and the Fair Lady. The slow boy. We're going to lose out to the Tuscani and the Intenza on the straightaway. Hell, we're losing out now to the Primera. Yeah, same. Same, Castro. I, I enjoyed that, really. Because just having, like, let's say, I don't know, 400R is like, okay, what is that? Although, you know what I do kind of miss from the older Gran Turismo games? 3 and 4 especially? When, like, you see a sector time, like 3.6, for example, and then they show a little thumbnail of the car. I always really like that. Actually, it was just... No, no, it was 3 and 4. Threes was the coolest, though, because the car would flash on screen. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot we talked about that before. Let's see, I don't, I don't have the horsepower to get around the Atenza on this straight. We're going to have to get him in the corner. Also, rubber banding, as you can tell. Like, I think the rubber banding is kind of helping us. Yeah. Oh. We crash our bits. We crash our airport rental, guys. Oh, no. Hertz rental car is not going to be happy with this one. Like, I am curious now. I do want to go into the replay and see if there is an actual, like, new gearbox or if it's just an anime. If it's just the animation of him touching the, you know, the, the stick and just putting his hand back up. As a touching stick. Stick, not dick. Although he could be, who knows? I knew we had enough to win. Willow Springs Springs. Willow Springs should not be that bad. So I am curious now. There is Weird camera modes you can check out in the replay mode, as we saw in GT5. So let's go check it out just real quick. I forgot that I'm, this This is not a TGT technically, it's a DF Pro, so I can't use the sticks on here to move around, unfortunately. All right, so Grand Valley done. Now it's time for Willow Springs, the second best thing in California that isn't Typhoon Lagoon, or Goo Lagoon as I like to call it. Is it really the, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Although, I would freak out if we ever got Button Willow or Thunder Hill. Talk about me exploding if GT7 was better than GT4. Oof, dude. That would be incredible if we got in either one of those two tracks that I mentioned. So, Willow Springs, the track that everybody struggles with in um, the Lewis Hamilton Challenge. Yeah, 20, dude, not even 24 hours, 25 hours. 
I have a friend who, well, the, the same friend who runs part-time NASCAR Xfinity, he is a uh, 25 Hours of Thunder Hill winner in his class. I don't remember what class it is, though. Road Atlanta? Oh, dude. Road America, I'd, I'd like, scream like a girl, bro. I would scream like a child if we got a Road America. Long Beach, I would fucking cry. Like, I'm super happy that we're getting, that Long Beach is finally getting finished in iRacing, and yeah, like, I, I wasn't like, whoa, Forza 5 got Long Beach when it came out. I was like, oh, sweet, nice. Like, if Gran Turismo, the game that I'm passionate about the most, had gone in Long Beach, I, I would freak the fuck out. Also, this song slaps. This is um, Aurora by Camo and Crooked. Oh, I just realized, Chris, we never took a look at the um, jukebox, like I said I would. Sorry. We'll do that after this race, because this is the last race of the series. It is. And it slaps, dude. It's a really good song. Yo, Jason, how's it going, dude? How did my GT6 go? Okay, so we've done the tutorial, obviously. The Ayrton Senna challenge, the Sierra time rally, and now we're doing the novice series. So we're ready to the lead. The primary getting hunted down by the... I mean, the Europa getting hunted down by the primary, I should say. Wrong order. Same cars. We're using our glorious bits for this series. The 2012 version, just because I said so. Driving lessons? Ooh. How did those go? I forget that... In Europe, like most countries, um, in Europe, you, you have to take a mandatory driver's uh, education. Like, behind the wheel driver's ed with an instructor and everything. Because literally in the United States, it's like, okay, take the written exam. And then, uh, several weeks later, go take the, the driving test. Well, you have this permit. You need to be with somebody. Well, it's like, okay, who's going to teach you? Will you... An instructor? Maybe, if you pay money, but you can literally just have Jim Bob down the street with a license accompany you to your exam. You can literally take the exam without having any driver uh, driving school or anything. Which is why I question a lot of the driving um, mentality here in uh, the United States. Why it's not pink? Uh, overrated meme. Not my meme. Overrated. Even worse would be if you ask why why my yellow um, why my Lancer Revolution is not yellow. It has a nice horn though. Yeah, so my the exam in the states is um, yeah he's not here ha ha ha. Um, the exams here in the states are with traffic as well. But at least in my driving test, um, I was with traffic and then I was in a cul-de-sac just to practice um, parking on the street. Which, parking on the street was really freaking easy. And then the written exam was easy too because it was just all common sense, really. So, we have officially completed the Amateur Cup. All nine stars have been acquired, and next time, we're going to be doing the Novice Championship. Coffee breaks are available too, but I'm saving coffee breaks to the very end of the game because I want to do all the coffee breaks in one video.